Hi guys, in this video we will be discussing about the dynamic gassing out technique for KLA estimation. This technique is almost uh, very similar to that of static gassing out technique. However, few major striking differences are there. The first and the most striking difference is the use of cells in this system. In the static method, we did not use cells, only the fermentation broth was used. But here the cells are being used. So you can understand the use of cells uh, in this system make it very precise to estimate the actual KLA. However, in any other method, the precision in KLA estimation is not that high. So let's understand what exactly is happening and how we are actually estimating KLA using the system. In this, initially, because it is a fermentation broth and the cells are there, so air supply is turned on. So cells will be utilizing that air for their growth. So from the sparges, the oxygen bubble is coming out or the air bubble is coming out that is delivering the oxygen or air into the fermentation media. From the fermentation media, the dissolved oxygen is being taken, out, taken up by the cells and they are utilizing it for their metabolic and catabolic purposes fine at this level we presume that there is a steady state that exists okay so before entering into the point one there is a steady state the do level remains constant okay in this system two different processes are going on first process is oxygen transfer that is due to the aeration and the agitation Second one is the oxygen consumption. So at this point, point number one, what all things are going on? There is oxygen transfer is going on because of the agitation and the aeration and microbes are also utilizing the oxygen. Now we enter into step number one. In step number one, we start the degassing process and this degassing is done by stopping the air supply okay to the reactor so we just cut off the air supply now we do not have any air supply any oxygen transfer here occurring okay but the cells will be utilizing the oxygen so oxygen utilization is occurring we are not supplying but the oxygen is being utilized so what will happen the dissolved oxygen concentration starts to decrease okay so at this point we will cut off the air supply so do oxygen after this starts to decrease but the do level should never reach to point zero as in the case of static method why if it reaches to zero the cells won't have enough oxygen for their survival and most of the cells will die and at the end our experiment will be a complete failure so we after reaching a certain point we reinitiate the aeration or reconnect the aeration. Aeration reconnected. Okay. Once this is reconnected, what will happen? The DO level will slowly, slowly start to rise and reach that same steady state. This is represented by C star. So this is your saturation O2 concentration at steady state fine so this is the third point so here the aeration is reinitiated and the oxygen is being consumed by the organisms both fine if we consider two or three different particular times okay so let's say this is time T1 and this is my time T2. The DO levels at this point at time T1 was CL1 and DO levels at time T2 was CL2. At this point the equation that will help you in assessing the KLA value will be given by ln 
in the brackets c star minus c l1 divided by c star minus c l2 equal to k l a dot t this is a type of y is equal to m x kind of equation so y is this m is k l a and x is time if you plot a graph between ln c star minus c l 1 divided by c star minus c l 2 versus time it will be a linear graph and the slope will be giving you the value of k l a so based on that dynamic gassing out method let's solve this numerical so this numerical says that that there is a culture of bacillus thuringiensis okay in a 20 liter state fermenter and the KLA has to be determined using a dynamic method this means that if we plot DO on this time like this initially there was a steady state then the oxygen was cut off then DO level starts increasing in the fermentation media until it reaches the saturation point C star okay so what they have given you the dissolved oxygen tension is 78 percentage air saturation so they have given you the saturation point so this is given as 78 percentage or you can write it as 0.78 right what else they have given you they have given you at different time 5 and 15 seconds the oxygen tension percentage air saturation was 50 and 60 so let us say this is my time t1 and this is my time t2 okay and this is my concentration cl1 and this is my cl2 so let's plot it on the graph so we'll consider this point as 0 then 5 seconds this is 5 and suppose this is 15 seconds so at this point my concentration is 50 percent this means 0.5 so this is cl1 at this point where my cl2 is so cl2 is equal to 66 percentage that is equal to 0 0.66 fine let us apply that same formula formula was ln c star minus c l 1 divided by c star minus c l 2 equal to k l a dot t now here you remember this t is difference in the time remember that we can also write k l a t 2 minus t1 right so let's put all the values ln is equal to c star is 0 0.78 minus cl1 is 0 0.5 divided by again c star 0 0.78 minus 0 0.66 equal to kla dot difference in the time 15 seconds minus 5 seconds so your kla value will become ln 0.28 divided by 0.12 okay whole divided by 10 so this will come out to be 0 0.0847 seconds inverse i hope uh, you have understood the concept of dynamic gassing out method thank you so much